Hi, welcome back to the School of ASMR. Today we'll be talking about brain waves and the type of delta alpha waves and beta waves that you kind of see. And there's a lot of music and relaxation music that you can see on YouTube as well. Um, there may or may not be a relation to it, but I do want to kind of go into it briefly, whereas I do a bit of painting as well. What I'll do is I'll kind of leave it to the experts and have them discuss it. And then we can touch on topics that I think about it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play a video for you guys. Um, this video is made by the health and fitness. And it just goes into the types of brave waves and their functions. So hopefully this plays without uh, actual. Yep. Yeah. There are four main types okay, of so. brain waves, namely beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Here's how these brain wave patterns have an impact on our consciousness. Did you know? When we fall asleep, a large number of neurons in our brain tend to fire in synchrony, resulting in the production of high amplitude delta waves in the brain. Our brain emits waves, which are nothing but electrical signals generated when neurons are firing messages to one another. The brain has approximately 80 to 100 billion neuron specialized cells that communicate with each other by transmitting electrical impulses through neuronal connections. The quicker the neurons fire at the same time, higher will be the frequency of waves. The more the neurons fire synchronously, the higher will be the amplitude of the wave. Depending upon the frequency and the type of activity associated with it, following are the different types of brain waves. These high frequency waves, 12 to 40. Okay, so let's go back and listen to what they said. There are four main types of brain waves. Four types. Namely beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Okay, so Here's we... Of these brain wave so they said delta is one, alpha, and beta are the main ones. And there's other ones as well. So according to this, they say that, let me just grab a pen and a paper, or a pen. So this is usually what the research looks like before I go and make the videos with the PowerPoints. So I can step you guys through this too, so we can do this. And then after this, then I'll go back to the painting. So this makes it a little bit more easier and fun. Alrighty, so let's see here. Put this there. You can watch me right. Okay. So according to this, let's see, let's use my phone for the research. Okay, they say that beta is for increase alertness. If I could spell alertness, that'd be good. And alpha promotes relaxation. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection there. Patterns have an impact on our consciousness. And then delta induces deep sleep. Hmm. That's interesting. Did you know when we fall asleep? A large number of neurons in our brain tend to fire in synchrony, resulting in the production of high amplitude delta waves in the brain. Our brain emits waves, which are nothing but electrical signals generated when neurons are firing messages to one another. The brain has approximately 80 to 100 billion neuron specialized Whoa. cells that communicate with each. So that's a lot. So they said. 80 to 100 billion neurons. That's a lot. Other by transmitting electrical impulses through neural connections. The quicker the neuron 
becomes higher at the same time, higher will be the frequency of waves. The more the neurons fire synchronously, the higher will be the amplitude of the wave. Depending upon the frequency and the type of activity associated with it, following are the different types of brain waves. These high frequency waves, 12 to 40 hertz, are produced in the brain when we are fully involved in some kind of mental activity. We are in a state of complete alertness and totally focused on the task at hand. A strongly engaged mind is the hallmark of people who spend their time in a beta state. Having an active conversation, playing sports, giving a presentation, or attending a job interview requires you to be in a state of increased alertness, which has been associated with the production of beta waves. When there is a dominance of beta wave activity, the mind is sharp, and the person is able to think fast and come up with new ideas quickly. The stimulation of beta waves increases our concentration and problem-solving ability, which in turn helps improve our peak performance. Elf so I would say with beta waves, they're probably not maybe the one that we kind of tap into with ASMR. So I would say maybe if you need help studying or producing or doing something, beta waves is the way to go. Waves that travel in the range of 8 to 12 hertz correspond to relaxation sense of calm and well-being. Generation of alpha wave pattern is an indication of semi-conscious state. Mm. The person is neither sleepy nor is attentive about his or her surrounding environment. So it could be ASMR is kind of um, with alpha waves, but they said that the individual is not attentive. So it depends on ASMR. I guess you kind of do zone out your external stimuli and you just focus on whatever is giving you those tingles so there might be a relation between alpha waves and ASMR we don't know yet for instance just after finishing an assigned task we tend to be in a relaxed state of mind which is nothing but the alpha state it is a resting state in which we take a break from our work schedule and just refresh ourselves so during this pleasant alpha break you may prefer to watch tv Take a 5-10 minute walk in the backyard or simply sit and think over new ideas to resolve an existing issue. Alpha state is relaxing but at the same time, this phase or state may prompt us to come up with innovative solutions to some challenging problems. Theta waves are slower than alpha waves. And so that's good. Alpha is usually good for us to create and develop. So that sounds like the perfect thing for me to play while I do this. And then there's also the theta. So theta I didn't go and discuss. Um, this is the fourth one. Let's see what this says. Maybe this is more similar to ASMR than actual alpha. Their frequency varies from four to eight hertz. We often enter this relaxed state of consciousness while performing a repetitive activity such as having a shower, brushing teeth, watering plants, or driving on the same route every day to reach office. All these activities are highly monotonous, which make us feel calm, and we tend to mentally drift to a slower state of theta brain wave activity. Theta waves are also generated while daydreaming, fantasizing, imagining, and intuitive thinking. Some of the best creative ideas may pop up in your mind during the theta state. When in theta state, the mind disengages itself from reality and focuses more on imaginative thinking. Delta waves of the lowest frequency, less than 4 hertz. So we can look into theta. That's an interesting concept. I think I might make a video separate on theta and alpha. Theta seems like a quite an interesting topic. So let's go back to that one other different video. Among others, and signify a a conscious state of being. No wonder a person in a deep sleep shows delta wave activity in the brain. These high-amplitude, slow-frequency waves are emitted when we are in deep sleep. The production of delta wave pattern that is marked by total loss of awareness allows the body and the brain to heal. No wonder, delta waves that help revitalize the brain are also referred to as healing frequencies. This delta wave pattern has also been detected in deeper meditative states. There is one more band of brain waves, referred to as gamma waves, 
They correspond to moments of ecstasy and high energy states in which focus and concentration are at their highest levels. They are considered to be the fastest wave types with frequency ranging from 40 to 100 Hz. However, the fact is our brain seldom shows gamma activity, and usually, it works in the frequency range associated with beta, alpha, theta, and delta waves. A point to note here is that, although beta waves are generated often during the day, it does not mean that the other three brain waves are absent. When one type of brain wave is dominant, the rest are feeble but continue to be detected. So, the brain produces all four waves at all times. Only the strength of the signal will vary depending upon the type of activity we are engaged in. So I think... No, one second, I don't want it to start playing another video. In the early 1800s, German physician... Oops. Okay, so I think with Astra playing... Is I'm kind of curious with this gamma, so I think it would be theta and gamma that we will play. Let's see how this works. So, what is well being? Sorry, this is the preview. When do you really feel well in your life? Right. Very actually relaxing. Might be too loud. Okay, let's see. So this this is some wax paper and some part of the plate and I'll use that as where I'll mix my paint. Sorry, let me just move this around a little bit.
Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed the video.